What is yerba mate? And how does one mate the yerba? I don't know. I heard about uh, yerba mate from uh, Owen Benjamin. <clears throat> so I wasn't familiar with it because, you know, coffee. Uh, but apparently it does some pretty good stuff. <clears throat> and uh, lots of caffeine. Uh, I'm not sure if it's different, though. Um, I have interesting ideas, I guess? Uh, concepts? Th theories. Theories. I have interesting theories about uh, about keeping oneself awake. Um, the, uh, I think there is potential... Uh, potential. Um, so... I think that there's like three ways to stay awake, and I'm gonna see if I can remember all these now, since my my theory was formed a while a while back. Uh, one way is pure caffeine. Yeah, one way is pure caffeine. One way is uh, sugar, and I think I'm gonna forget the other way. Like uh, there's there's like three ways to stay awake and uh, the caffeine way is blocking your uh, adenosine re receptors which make you feel untired or you know the adenosine re the adenosine receptors are what makes you feel tired but the uh, and this is somewhat theoretical since you know molecular biology um, the caffeine uh, fits those receptors so it blocks those keeps you from feeling tired. That's what the caffeine does. But you can overload on caffeine such that uh, as your body builds up more adenosine, it doesn't uh, It doesn't matter how much coffee you get into, how much caffeine you get in your system, the adenosine overwhelms it. It's way too much adenosine. Uh, so that, that's what makes you tired. So the coffee itself has, a, um, has limits. Because if you just drink a bunch of coffee and you know don't sleep for a day and then you just keep pounding coffee at some point the coffee stops working and this is actually what led to my my interest in discovering what might you know cause this or not cause it oh that's a weird angle oh but with the <laughs> with the wet road i can actually see the the headlights coming through under the cars even though i can't see the actual cars although if they don't have headlights on <laughs> um so, that's why the coffee will work for a period of time and then not work. Uh, so, I'm trying to remember the other one. Uh, but the sugar one is just, obviously, if you get a sugar rush, which is, is not a great way to, uh, to stay awake, uh, but the sugar rush will also give you that burst of energy. And uh, usually, uh, the, the attached crash. Uh, taurine, that's right. Taurine, which is um, the primary ingredient in Red Bull, I think taurine is a different, uh, oh, and five hour energy, that, that drink, energy drink. Taurine has a different, I feel, I should actually probably look this up, see if it has the same uh, adenosine blocking properties or if it's something else. But I found that in an effort to stay awake for longer periods, and I think I found this out while I had my first kid, because she was, you know, you just don't get a lot of sleep, um, that if I overloaded on coffee, that I couldn't make it through the day. Uh, but if I did coffee, and then taurine, and then sugar, like at the end of the day for like a, a spike, and then a crash for bed, <laughs> like that worked. Uh, <clears throat> so I speculated that there were basically three different ways to stay awake, the, the sugar rush way, the taurine way, and the caffeine way. And, uh, you know, the, the trick to it was don't mix caffeine and taurine together because then you lose the option of switching to taurine or switching to caffeine later on. So that was kind of the, the, the idea that I had. So I'm, I'm kind of interested if, uh, in what the yerba mate does because um, I was really tired heading into church. And when I sit down and I stop moving, uh, especially when I'm just listening, I get really tired if I'm not, you know, if I'm like 10% tired, it, it like triples. 
if I'm doing certain activities. <coughs> Especially for Sunday school, where it's mostly just reading. Uh, but, <coughs> so we, we went to the Walgreens, and they had a yerba mate there. And I had, had one, just basically drank the whole thing. And uh, I had that over, or instead of having the coffee and the, you know, the Rockstar coffee or the, the Mountain Dew, and that worked really, really well. And, you know, if I have too much coffee, I get jittery, but this was just fine. So I'm kind of interested to know uh, how it works within the body. And even if it is exactly the same as caffeine, because uh, I know it has, it's, it said it had a lot of caffeine in it. <coughs> But I think these compounds, when mixed with other things, react differently in your body. Um, and I, 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 have the, I have that theory from alcohol, because there were certain alcohols that were much harder on me, and certain things, certain alcohols that I couldn't drink, and, you know, molecularly, it's just, it's just alcohol, it's, it's ethanol. So it should have the exact same effect, but that was not my experience at all. Uh, things like um, um, Jägermeister. I had like one shot of Jägermeister once at a party, and I, I was a pr pretty big dude, so I, I, can, I could drink a lot, but I had one shot of Jägermeister, and I felt like weird and like weirdly dizzy for like five days, and it was the Jägermeister, and I think I repeated it later on, I was like, oh, I'll just have a little bit, like a sip, and it did the exact same thing again, and it's the weirdest thing, because I know it's all just ethanol. So I don't know quite how all that works together, but I'm, I'm speculative as to how uh, different compounds or different molecules mixed with other, I guess they would be compounds, <laughs> it's a mix, uh, you know, mixtures of different things or different types of drinks or, you know, uh, I'm, I'm partial to iced coffee because uh, I drink it differently, but I think there's there's room to experiment with how you're, how you can keep yourself awake without getting, you know, super jittery, or without crashing, and without also just, like, putting your blood pre blood pressure through the roof, like having three Red Bulls or something like that, um, because I'm pretty, I'm pretty even at this point, like, just one, and I, I fill this up with ice, and then pour in what's about eight ounces of coffee, so it's not even that much coffee, but if I have it hot, then I'm drinking, like, straight coffee, and this melts over the course of the day, so I don't know. It's kind of interesting. So I'm, I'm interested in the in the yerba mate. I'm interested in how, you know, what what compounds in it are working and how they work on me. And uh, I'm certainly interested, since it's apparently a tea of some kind. I'm certainly interested in growing it. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Uh, that's uh, that's about all I've got. Yeah, I was also that was the things I was I was driving a lot. That yeah, there was that period where I was driving for driving three hours a day, and that was dangerous, <laughs> so I had to figure out, like, the right way to do coffee, because if I did it too much in the morning, then I wouldn't have it for the drive home, uh, so yeah, so just st stuff I'm trying to figure out and think about, I, I, I am actually curious to know if you have any similar experiences, uh, particularly in staying awake, you know, in caffeine or Red Bull or whatever, uh, but to a lesser extent, alcohol also, because I also, um, I went to a, I got a, I had a ticket for speeding and I went to a, a class and it was like a municipal class talking about, you know, road safety and all that. Um, and they brought up alcohol and people, it was like an open question time and people were like, oh yeah, well, if you drink a little bit of alcohol, you're still impaired. Like, that's not a thing. You can't just be like, oh, I'm, I'm only slightly impaired. And I was like... I had a question, I was like, what's the difference between drinking different types of alcohols? Because, like, I've had very different experiences from them. And uh, the lady was like, no, it's all the exact same, it's all alcohol. And everyone else seemed to be in agreement, but that was not my experience at all. So, I'm curious to know if anyone else has had a similar experience. Uh, yeah, uh, like, comment, subscribe. 